Let's represent Jesus the way he wants to be represented. Can we populate the kingdom of God, please, with me? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a glorious Saturday morning. And this is your 5 a.m. protocol breaking prayer platform. This is the 5 a.m. protocol breaking prayer altar. You have come to the altar of grace. You have come to the altar of spiritual warfare. You have come to the altar that moves every protocol. It is broken on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for those who are coming in already following the creator. You are doing the right thing. You will never regret it. This is your destiny moment. You have. You will never regret it. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody type failure at the edge of breakthrough. Somebody type failure at the edge of breakthrough. If you are new to our broadcast, please announce yourself which country you're coming from. You're going to be anointed. You're going to be blessed. You're going to break protocols. You're going to fly high. You're going to be motivated. You're going to be inspired. You're going to be transformed. That is the promise we give you. And that is the promise we give. Amen. We give you that promise and we keep it. Amen, somebody. Good morning, Jamaica. Do good morning. Good morning. God is ready for you. Holy Spirit is ready. We are ready. We are willing. We are going. We are pushing through. My God, we are going to deal with failure at the edge of breakthrough. Come on, somebody. What is that failure at the edge of breakthrough that we need to work through this morning? There is a war at the edge of breakthrough, somebody. There are challenges at the edge of breakthrough, somebody. Hallelujah. This morning, this message that I'm about to get into is very important. Hallelujah. I guess everybody on TikTok and on YouTube, I'm just, let me, let me just check everybody's back here. Hallelujah. I know TikTok doesn't sleep. Hallelujah. Somebody, are we typing failure at the edge of breakthrough? Guys, we need to tap. Let's tap our likes into 10,000. Let's tap our likes into 10,000. There's many of us. We can share the broadcast. Guys, remember, you are soul winners. You are evangelists. You have to ensure. You have to ensure. You have to ensure that you win souls in the kingdom of God. The duty of soul winning is not just my duty only, but it is a duty that is also yours in Jesus' mighty name. We are going to win. We are going to make sure that our breakthroughs come forth. We're going to make sure that we do not fail at the edge of breakthrough. The enemy wants you to give up at the edge of breakthrough. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Let's do it. Keep tapping. Keep sharing. Who's sharing? Who's sharing? Who can I pray for? Who's sharing? Everybody who's sharing the live broadcast, may God expand your territory in Jesus' mighty name. Share to at least 10 or 15 people. Make sure you are populating the kingdom of God, guys. I want to make sure that when I start, everybody's already in the room. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Thank you, Tracy Philip. May God expand your territory. May God grant you your wishes in Jesus' mighty name. Every wish granted, every wish granted in Jesus' mighty name. Every breakthrough shall be achieved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I want to pray for somebody here today. Oh, Kariaba Sand, I want to pray for somebody who's experiencing that there's a power that is fighting your breakthrough. Come on, somebody. There's a war at the edge of your breakthrough. There is a war that the enemy has launched and he wants you to fail. And I'm here to declare and decree that you will not fail. You cannot fail and you will not fail in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the Apostle Paul said, For a great and an effectual door has been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. There are doors that are opening up for people. But there are adversaries that are fighting them. There are doors that are opening for you. But the, 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 there's enemies that are fighting you. There's people that don't want you to exercise your favor. There's people that don't want you to go through your door. So when the Apostle Paul says that there was a great door and it's an effectual door, it's the door that you've been waiting for. It's the breakthrough that you've been waiting for. It's the job that you've been waiting for. But there's an adversary who's holding the key. There's an adversary who's saying, I'm going to put up a gate and you're not going to go through. Can somebody say, I will not fail. I will break through. Help me preach together with me and say, I will not fail. I will break through in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
He says the door has been opened up to me. It's an effectual door that is going to give me relevance. It's an effectual door that is going to equip me to be able to, 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 to feed my children. It's an effectual door that will give me some significance. It's, a, it's an effectual door that will give me purpose. It's an effectual door that will make sure that my giftings are, are experienced, my talents are experienced, my potentials are realized. But there is an adversary. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're going through. We are not going to fail at the age at the edge of breakthrough. Nobody's going to fail. Somebody said I'm not failing. I will not fail. I will break through. I will not fail. I will break through in Jesus mighty name. The door was opened and it was not an ordinary door. Paul described it as a great and effectual door. The moment the enemy saw that the door was open, they showed up to close it. Who is that person who keeps showing up in your life to close your door every time God opens the door? Who is that person? Who is that adversary? There are adversaries that we know of that we can see in the physical, but there's also adversaries that we cannot see that come out in, in, in an invisible way. The enemy also sends adversaries. Somebody says, my door will be open. Open door, open door. Somebody declare, open door. I will not fail. I will break through. I don't know which one resonates with you, but make sure that you are confessing the one that resonates with you. I will not fail. I will break through. I will not fail. I will break through. In Jesus' mighty name. Doors are opening. Effectual doors are opening in Jesus' mighty name. My God. The enemies showed up as soon as they saw that the door was open. They showed up and they wanted to close it. Who wants to close that door? You want to open, they want to shut it down. You want to speak, they want to shut you up. Hallelujah. The enemies were intent on hindering Paul from going through his breakthrough. I don't know who's fighting your breakthrough. I want you to declare, I will break through. As you are typing it in the comment section, I want you to know that you will break through. I want to prophesy to those who are sharing, who are liking, that you will break through in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We are at the edge of breakthrough. There is always a war at the edge of breakthrough. The war of failure, a war of, a war of success. There is a war that is trying to tell you that your strategies are not enough. There is a war that is trying to tell you that your plans are not going to come to pass. I'm here to tell the devil, you are a liar. My God. The question for you this morning is, are you going to cross over? Are you going to cross over at this war edge, at this edge, at this, edge, at this breakthrough point? Some people want to give up. Some people were about to give up. They did not understand that they were right just a day away, a day away. The breakthrough was just around the corner. We all have struggled to the point where we get to the edge and we want to give, give up. We've all struggled to get to this point. But I want you to determine in your heart that I'm going to follow the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to follow my destiny. The Holy Spirit is going to help me and lead me to my destiny. I will not hold back. I will not just test the waters. I will swim through the waters. The waters will not overwhelm me. They will not drown me. I will not just test. Don't put your feet in. Just go full in. You are going fully in. Fully in in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word Kadesh Baniya means people, places, things. Hallelujah. Things that are profound, spiritual lessons that we, 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 we learn of. We are in a transit point. We are in a pilgrimage. We are people on a journey. We are transitioning to our breakthrough. We are transitioning into our destiny. Come on, somebody. We are going to a promised land. Come on. Kadesh Bania was a stopping point on the journey. It was a point, a stop, like, like you know where you take a break? Just like the, the oasis is a stopping point or a staging area. You have the same options as the children of God. You have the same option of whether or not you're going to stop at the point of retreat at the edge of the promised land. Are you going to stop at Kadesh Barnea or are you going to move in and move in into your promised land? Talk to me, somebody. Come on, somebody. So when you begin to understand when, when, when God, the Holy Spirit is taking me to the scripture and, and showing me Kadesh Barnea, that this is, 
this is an uh, it's symbolic of a negative turning point so i can choose to either go through or i can choose to turn around and 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 and, and only receive the negative come on somebody there is always a war at the edge of breakthrough the reason why that it's like there's an escalation of turmoil, there's an escalation of things that you are fighting is because you are at the edge of breakthrough. The war is intensifying. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. When you look at geographically, the Mount of Horeb is called the Mount of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you had to travel from the Mount of Horeb to Kadesh Barnea, it would have taken you an 11 days journey. The presence of God was experienced at Horeb and Mount Sinai. Come on, somebody. And it was to strengthen the faith of God's people to enter the promised land. That's why he brought the presence of God. He brings you into the presence of, of meetings like this to say, you know what? I want to give you a text to tell you that you are just there. Don't give up yet. Hallelujah. However, Kadesh Benea, the awesome encounter with the almighty God, the mighty manifestations at Horeb was an experience that was just 11 days old. Could you be 11 days old just from your breakthrough? Could you be just 11 days away from your breakthrough? What would you do if you knew that it just, you, just, you were just left with 11 days? Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, I will not fail. I will break through in Jesus' mighty name. I will not fail. I will reach my promised land in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. Canaan, Canaan itself, the promised land, was only two days away. Two days away from Kadesh Barnea. So at your negative point, you are two days away from the promised land. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, I'm not turning back. I'm going forward. I'm charging forward. I'm on the verge. I'm on the verge. I'm on the verge. I'm on the edge of breakthrough. I'm not turning back. I'm going forward. Come on, somebody. So between the promised land and Horeb, and the place where the powers of failure at the edge of success attacked, forcing the children of Israel to fall back from the place they were so close. So close. Somebody take your neighbor and tell them, you are so close, don't give up. You are so close. You are so co close. You are so close. Can somebody preach with me and say, you are so close. Thank you, Jesus. When you go through the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, it describes this journey. They had traveled for 11 days with only two more days to go. Two more days to reach their destination. Yet after all their efforts, after the severity of the journey, after fighting the Egyptians, after going through the Red Sea, just two days to enter the rest somebody say i'm just two days away two days away from entering my rest two days from my appointment later i'm just two days away two days two days they had suffered at the hands of the egyptians they had suffered a lot what happened god's chosen people faltered they failed they failed they fell on their own doom. They failed. And that will be no, your, not, that can't be your portion. You must refuse and say, I will not fall. I will not fail when I'm just two days away. Somebody's just two hours away. Somebody's just two minutes away. Somebody's just two steps away. Somebody's just two prayer meetings away. Somebody's just two steps away. Two worships away. Oh, Jesus, I feel it. You have worked hard on that project long enough. You have pursued your career so long. You have reached to graduation level. You are about to graduate. Why do you want to give up now? You have prayed. You have prayed fervently. Almost getting, you know, you are just at almost. My God, I come against the spirit of almost. You are almost at that point of getting the desired result. Jesus. You have waited patiently and you were just about to obtain the desired blessing, but something strange happened to you. Who am I talking to you? Something strange happened and you now caused yourself to forfeit the promised land. 
You couldn't walk into the completion of your project. You're just two days away. I said you're just two days away. Thank you for those who are following the host accounts that you are watching me from in Jesus' name. It is the work of the spirit of Kadesh Barnea. The Kadesh Barnea spirit is the one that makes you miss your blessing. When you're about to receive your blessing, thank God for those who are gifting as well. You are at the point of breakthrough, but the spirit of Kadesh Barnea is fighting you. It's saying that, you know, you're going to miss your opportunity. It's the one that will make you miss your miracle. Father God, we pray against the spirit of Kadesh Barnea in Jesus' name. The opposition is there, is trying to intercept your takeover. The opposition is trying to intercept your breakthrough. Come on, somebody. The spirit, the spirit of Kadesh Barnea works so much against the children of Israel that the, 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 the anointed exhortations from the fire, from the, from, from, the, from, from, the, the, from the lips of fire of Moses, rather. Moses was a mighty servant of God. Even what he was saying didn't work because they just, the spirit was heavy on them. Somebody say, I will not fail. I will break through in Jesus' name. I'm two days away. I command two days. In two days, may you take possession of your possessions. In two days, may you receive your approved letters. In two days, may you receive the call that you've been waiting for. In two days, I come against the spirit of Kadesh Barnea right now in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. And my question to you this morning, will you allow that to happen to you? Will you allow the things that have hurt you or people that have hurt you to take you away? Whoever has been under the spirit of, of Kadesh Barnea right now, I uproot the spirit from you in Jesus' mighty name. You will not turn around at the point of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. When you reach that point, if you decide to stop at Kadesh Barnea, you need to understand that there is nothing that anybody can say to help you. And, 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 and you are at the point where you feel like quitting your career. You feel like quitting your job. You feel like quitting that project. And you don't even feel like going for counseling anymore. My God. I want to encourage you and tell you the spirit of the Lord is saying in Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 45 to 46, it says, But as for you, turn around and set out towards the desert along the route or to the Red Sea. You came back and wept before the Lord, but he paid no attention to your weeping and turned a deaf ear to you. And so you stayed in Kadesh many days, all the time you spent there. It's time for you to be freed. It's time for you to come out from that land, that 11 days delay. You are just two days away. Come on, somebody. I need you, Lord. Yes, I do. I will not fail. I will break through. What is the Kadesh Benea in your life? I'm asking you. It is when you cannot point to anything tangible that is happening in your life. You cannot point to anything that you have achieved in your life. What is the spirit of Kadesh Barnea? It is when you stand at crossroads, at crossroads, not knowing what to do and you don't know where to turn. What is the spirit of Kadesh Barnea in your life? It is when you are staying at a satanic bus stop and you are just staying there. Your life is the same now as it was last year, as it was the year before. It's like you are drifting in the ocean of life. What is the spirit of Kadesh Barnea? It is becoming shepherdless. You don't even want to submit to church anymore because you have said church does not work. I don't need a shepherd. You do things your own way. You will not allow anybody to even lead you. You don't have a teachable spirit. Oh, Shakari. I appeal with fervency to your heart this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ with a sincere heart before the Lord. I decree that you will discover the secrets you ought to know about your life. You will discover the secrets that will unlock you out of that spirit of Kadesh Barnea. You are moving into your space of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is going to show you the operations of the Holy Spirit. 
you will begin to dream again. Two days away. Somebody say two days away. I'm two days away. You will begin to dream. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody say, I will not fail. I will break through. I will not fail. I will break through. I will not fail. I will break through. Thank you for those who are sharing the life. Thank you for those who are tapping. Thank you for those who are following and liking as well. I will not fail. Isaiah 41 verse 11 to 12 says, Behold, all that were incensed against you, you shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing and they, sh they that strive with you shall perish. Do you hear this word? It says those that are fighting you, they are going to perish. Those that strive with you will encounter strife in their life. Chapter 10 verse 12 says, you shall seek them and you shall not find them. Even when that, when you, if, if, if you will seek those who contend with you and you will not find them because God would have dealt with them. God will contend with your contenders. Come on, somebody. They that war against you shall be as nothing and as a thing of nothing. That's what the scripture says. They that fight with you, they that war against you. I don't know what is fighting your breakthrough. What is fighting you going through that effectual door? Come on, somebody. Understand this. God's plan for his children is a thought of good. God wants good things to happen for you. It's not of evil. He says, my thoughts towards you are thoughts of good, not of evil. But when men slept, the enemy came and sowed tears. And this can hinder the perfect will of God. This can hinder the perfect working conditions for a believer. If you do not take care, if you do not, if you are negligent about your life, you need to understand that the enemy can sow tears and those tears can make you delay and make you stay in Kadesh Benair instead of proceeding in the next two days to step into your promised land. Come on, somebody. Somebody keep tapping on that screen. Keep sharing. Come on, guys. The Bible has already stated that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities and powers. So every believer is expected to pray without ceasing and take it by force. And you need to take it by violence, by force in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray against the spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. You need to understand that the spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough is a very destructive spirit and you should not yield to that spirit in Jesus' name. Somebody say, I will not fail help me declare it one more time and say i will not fail thank you jesus one can labor for so long and when victory or success is imminent disaster can happen which can make one start all over again all these can happen if you don't pray all the workings of such a dispute against the workings of such a destructive spirit Father, we are praying against this, this destructive spirit of Kadesh Benea, this spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Satan is your adversary and he's working over time to make sure that you don't go through. He never seeks the success of your, of your life. He will not seek the success of your family. So you have to fight. Thank you, Jesus. Oftentimes people keep wondering why their lives are operating in an unfavorable fashion. They try all possible means, but it seems like, you know, their best is not good enough. Is there somebody who feels like that, who says, Pastor Fortune, I've been giving my best, but sometimes it feels like my best is not good enough. My God. Welcome, Michael. May the Lord expand you. Thank you, Mandy. You are experiencing stagnancy and you are so frustrated it's because there's a spirit of failure that is in operation and if you're not careful it could lead you to depression and sometimes people start having thoughts of suicide and i'm here to declare that we will not entertain thoughts of suicide we will not entertain thoughts of failure in jesus mighty name we are overcomers in the name of jesus christ how do i become an overcomer pastor fortune you must have a prayer altar why are we here? We are here to raise a prayer altar. We are raising a prayer altar, a protocol breaking prayer altar. You must raise an altar. Type in the comment section, raise an altar. Raise a prayer altar, raise a prayer altar, raise a prayer altar. 
The Lord says if there's a mouth to pray, there's a God to answer. If you can open up your mouth and pray, there's a God that will answer. If God cannot, can, or, or if God had done it for the people of old in the Bible, he can still do the same for you. The same power that worked for Paul and the disciples and everybody else is the same power that will work for me and you. Come on, somebody. Every spirit that is responsible for your failures at the edge of breakthrough, you need to fight them. You need to declare that they will not hinder you in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever spirit that has been broke, blocking your breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. When success is so near, somebody say two days. I know some of you who are coming in late, you don't know what we are talking about. Somebody say, I will not fail, I will break through. I'm just two days away. I'm just two days away. I'm not stopping at Kadesh Baniya. Oh, Jesus. Are you guys ready to pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your prevailing power. I come against the spirit of destructive spirits. Destructive spirits against progress. Destructive spirits against breakthroughs. Destructive spirits that want to let us give up at the edge of our breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. I come against every bad spirit, every bad, bad luck, whatever it is, every near success syndrome. Almost near success. I nearly did it. I nearly achieved it. I pray against it in Jesus' mighty name. You have to open up your mouth and destroy all the plans of the devil over your destiny in Jesus' mighty name. You must make sure that the devil comes out a loser and not you. Somebody say, I'm not a loser. God bless you, Aku. Somebody say, I'm not a loser. I'm not a loser. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for, for the prevailing power over my own life, over the life of my family, over the life of my followers, over the life of, my, uh, of everybody who's part of this family, over the life of everybody who's at the sound of my voice. Thank you, Lord, for your prevailing power over us. Be glorified, O oh God. We are here to say be glorified. We are breaking through. We will not fail at the edge of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I ask, Lord, that you cleanse us of all filthiness in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, anything that is hindering our prayer life, Lord, remove it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we claim victory over every spirit of backwardness in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for those who are following me. Thank you so much. God bless you and increase you. The spirit of victory will overcome the spirit of backwardness in your life in Jesus' name. Father, in everything that we do, we declare that we will be the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. Lord, everything that has been condemning us, every condemning spirit that has been assigned to frustrate our efforts, we command it to be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Every strange king that has been enthroned from the pit of hell over our breakthroughs, we command them to be dethroned. Remove the kings that have, have put themselves on the throne, that have put themselves on our seats, that have put themselves as rulers in our life. Dethrone them, O oh God. Father, I pray for every strange voice that has been manipulating us, manipulating our destiny, manipulating our shining, I command it to be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Every silent arrow that has been shot into the blood. Oh, that arrow that is saying that you will not celebrate. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, I command it to come out by force in the name of Jesus Christ. You will celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. You will celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, I will celebrate in Jesus' name. I will celebrate in the name of Jesus. I will celebrate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I declare and I decree that the sword of the enemy shall not hinder your breakthrough. 
in all ramifications. Your breakthrough shall not be hindered in the end in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy that you will receive the anointing to conquer, the anointing to possess by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody receive that anointing and say, I receive the anointing of a conqueror. I receive the anointing of a possessor in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I release every single person who's under the sound of my voice from any inherited problem, any curse that they've been laboring under in Jesus' mighty name, from their lineage in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we receive a supernatural lifting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ from where we are to where you are supposed to catapult us to be. We receive a supernatural lifting from where we are to our destiny place in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we reject every failure at the edge of breakthrough that has been targeted towards our growth, our success, our careers, and so forth in Jesus' name. In every way that they will gang up against you, the Lord shall scatter their meetings for your, for your behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every altar that has been constructed to monitor you or to monitor your life for destruction, I command it to scatter by fire. I command it to scatter by fire. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please make sure you're giving me a follow. I'd love to be in relationship with you. Father, I speak to every power that has been assigned to cut us off from the peak of our lives and the peak of our endeavors just when we are about to get the promotion. Father God, that person that is coming to irritate us, my God, Father God, we will not fall into sin in Jesus' mighty name. Every monitoring spirit, every monitoring demon that has vowed that we will not step into our glory, Father, we command it to be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Release the hidden glory, O oh God. Release the hidden glory. Your glory is being released in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every divination that is targeted to keep you down, that is targeted to keep you stagnant. I command it to backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. You will no longer be stagnant. You will no longer feel stuck in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that is delaying the blessing. Any power that is delaying the success in our lives, we command it to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for those who are following me. Thank you for those who are sharing and liking. Every divination that has been targeted to keep you stagnant, I command it to backfire in Jesus' mighty name. I disconnect your life from anything that will make you lose your destiny in Jesus' mighty name. I disconnect your life from anything that will make you uh, be disconnected or fail at the edge of breakthrough. Somebody say, I am not a failure and I will break through. I will not fail. I will break through in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I disconnect your life from last minute failure from your lineage. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody declare it one more time and say, I will not fail. I will break through in Jesus' name. I will not fail. I will break through in Jesus' mighty name. Father, every demon, every power that has been mandated to bring chaos to us at the edge of breakthrough, we command it to be nullified in Jesus' mighty name. Be nullified in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever is fighting you, Bapsi, I command it to be nullified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every evil cobweb that has been built by evil forces to, co to cover you right now or to cover your destiny helper's eyes. Father God, it is being removed. Every cobweb, your destiny helpers will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare, I will not fail. I will break through. Oh Lord, my God, arise and destroy every challenge at the edge of my miracle. Arise and challenge every every challenge at the edge of my of, of my miracles in Jesus' mighty name. Child of God, don't allow the, the evil one to, to, to prevail over your breakthrough. No. 
The enemy shall not prevail over your breakthrough. Every glory attacker that has been waiting to attack you at the age of breakthrough, I command it to be destroyed by thunder in Jesus' name. Every strong man that has vowed that uh, you will not be successful and they've made statements like over my dead body, over my dead body, will you succeed? Let them die a shameful death because they're gonna they're gonna see your success and and as they have proclaimed that over their dead body so shall it be in jesus mighty name their 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 words should be should, will be fulfilled because they prophesied them into the air in jesus mighty name thank you jesus every door of breakthrough having a, 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 a some kind of a padlock or whatever we command it to break in jesus name let it break in Jesus' name. Come on, shout that amen well. Guys, I need you to participate. Come on, come on, come on. We've been up since 12 midnight, so we're going. We're just here until 6 p.m. I mean, 6 a.m. Oh, God, imagine 6 p.m. That would be 24 hours. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I silence every voice of the evil that has been postponing our blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Every voice of evil is suspended. It's, it's suspended in Jesus' mighty name. Every glory attacker waiting to attack us at the edge of our breakthrough. They are destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every strong man that has vowed that, you know, you will not succeed. My God, let them fulfill their own words. Let them fulfill their own prophecies. They will die because we will succeed in Jesus mighty name. Any spirit that has been masquerading around you, making as if they are here to help you. Meanwhile, they are actually pulling you down. May the Lord expose them in Jesus' mighty name. And I command that they will break down and catch fire in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, silence every voice of evil. My blessings shall no longer be postponed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good things are coming to you. Good things you will not be able to abort in Jesus' name. Every evil force that has been stepping into your goodness is paralyzed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for everybody that has honored this meeting. Thank you for everybody that has shown up for these prayers. Father God, that they will not fail at the edge of breakthrough. They will win the war at the edge of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. We come against every glory killers, every ancestral powers in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Every mistake that your parents made, you will not make the mistake in Jesus' mighty name. Receive the power and the anointing to rectify any error of your, of your predecessors in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we thank you for answered prayer. We thank you, Lord, that we cannot fail. We will break through. We will not stop at Kadesh Barnea because we just left. We are two days away. We decree and we declare as we sign out, my God. As we sign out, my God. I will not fail. I will break through. I will not fail. I will break through in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not fail. I will break through in Jesus' mighty name. I will not fail. I will break through in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to thank you, everybody, from Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much for um, tearing with us the whole night. Those of you who have been here with us the whole night, the whole midnight, we have literally not stopped. We just stopped to refresh the broadcast so that we can get you all in and be praying. So please make sure you are following the account that you are, uh, you are on. Click follow the button, follow the follow button and click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe and click the like. Don't forget to like the videos. It matters. Don't forget to comment whenever you are there. If you want a gift on YouTube, there's a sign that says thank you. And you just click on that and you give to according to how the Lord is leading you. Those of you on TikTok, you can do the same as well. And I encourage you to also join my WhatsApp group, which is the, the barcode that is on the first video that is pinned. And I look forward to hearing your testimonies in Jesus' mighty name. Because I know you are breaking through. So I'm looking forward to the fact that when next I'm online, 
I will read all, all the beautiful testimonies in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, guys. I see you following Mara Official. God will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Fortune Online, Kababa Shokuria Bahasa. I love you guys. You are amazing. Mama Faith, everybody on Facebook, let me see who else is here. Hallelujah. Faith, um, and I think I saw Brenda as well. God bless you. You guys are amazing. Did you miss all night? Thank you. Explore life. God bless you. Your blessings shall no longer be postponed in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. Goodbye for those who are on Facebook and on YouTube. I love you. I love you. I love you. Stay fantabulous.